There are a lot of cool extensions for Chrome that do an amazing job of making the browser more useful for you to use. So today I'll show you nine Chrome extensions that are available from the Chrome Web Store that you can use right now with the Chrome browser or any other browser that allows Chrome extensions. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. First up is Session Buddy, which is a session manager and a bookmark manager. Many people use it to organize saved tabs by topic. To open Session Buddy, you'll see the icon in the upper right hand corner. Select it. I primarily use it for saving similar websites to groups, which they call saved sessions. For example, I have a saved session called PC Build, which currently has four sites related to building a PC. Now I'll show you how to create a new saved session. Let's go back to the current session. And you'll see here I have four sites that are currently open. Those are Newegg, Monoprice, Tiger Direct, and the Amazon Computer Components page. Right click where it says Current Window, then select Save. Now it's gonna to ask to name your current group. I'll just name it Tech Shopping. When done, select OK. Now you'll see under the heading for Saved Sessions, I have a new listing called Tech Shopping, which has those four sites I just saved, which I can refer to later on. I find Session Buddy to be more useful than the default bookmark manager that is built into Chrome. Next up is Block Site, which automatically blocks websites that you choose. I'll show you how it works. If you're on a website that you want to block, copy the URL from the address bar, then select the Block Site icon and select options. Then just paste the address of that website where it says type site to block. Then select add page. Now it will show up in your list of block sites. Once you've blocked a website and try to go back to it, you'll get this page instead. With this message, this page was blocked by Chrome extension. Other options include adult control, which will block all websites that are adult related, and below that, you can add a custom list of blocked words. First, I'll turn the filter on and then add a word. I'll add the word Kardashian and then select add word. To be on the safe side, I'll add the word Jenner and then select add word again. And this is an easy way of adding a Kardashian filter to the Chrome browser. Now all websites that include those blocked words will no longer open. If you select protection, you can create a password for the block site extension and settings has a ton of options that you can change. If you don't want certain sites to appear in your browser, block site is a must have extension. This weather extension I will show you now is simply titled weather. To the right of the address bar, it'll show you the current temperature. When you select it, it will pop out where it will give you an hour by hour forecast and the weather for the next eight days. If you select the satellite icon in the upper left corner, you'll see a temperature map, which can be changed to one of several options, including an emoji map. If you're looking for a simple and easy weather extension, weather just may be what you're looking for. Speed Dial is a tab page replacement extension that changes how you access your bookmarks in Chrome. When you first launch Chrome or open a new tab, you will see your bookmarks. To easily add a bookmark, Select the plus sign. Enter the website address. I'll add Monoprice. Select an image from the right side. Then select Add Dial. Just like Session Buddy, which I mentioned earlier, you can create groups for your bookmarks. Along the top, select the plus sign. Name your group. Then select Add Group. And then just add all the sites you want in that group. Speed Dial gives the tab page a great new look, but if you don't want to change the browser home or tab page, I would suggest using Session Buddy instead. The Google Scholar button is just a quick shortcut to do a Google Scholar search for journals or articles that can help you in school. To do a search, select the Google Scholar icon. I'll do a search for augmented reality. Just select one of the articles or select related articles. Here you'll have the option to view one of the articles, save, See how many have cited this article, view related articles, or view different versions of the same article. What is cool is the citation link. When selected, it will give you multiple styles of citation, including MLA, 
APA, and others. If you are still in school and paying a service for articles or citations, the Google Scholar button for you is a must-have extension. The Emoji Keyboard is one of the best options for those people that like to use emoji. To use it, just select the icon in the upper right corner. If you like choices, there are a lot to choose from in various categories. Just select the ones you want to use, and they will automatically copy and paste. If you want a large variety of emoji, this keyboard extension is the one to get. Office Online is a slimmed down version of Microsoft Office, which is free to use online. In the past, I've recommended the Google Office Suite, but many of you prefer the layout of Microsoft Office. To open, select the Office Online icon. You will need a Microsoft account to use this extension. From here, you can select Recent Documents or select New to select Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, or Sway. I'll select Word, which will open up a new tab. You can select one of the templates listed or create a new document. I'll point out a few other things. In the upper left corner, if you select here, you can see a full list of Microsoft services available online. I'll switch over to Excel. Files get saved online to OneDrive, but you can also download a copy to your computer by selecting File, then select Save As. Here you have the option to save a copy to OneDrive, or you can download a copy to your computer. Office Online is a great option, even though it's lacking some of the features of the paid version. Shortcuts for Google allows you to access one of the many services offered by Google, even if you're not on a Google website. To use, select the icon to display the pop-up. You will now see several shortcuts listed. To add or remove the shortcuts that are listed, select Settings. Now you can go through the list of services and drag them from the left pane to the right to add them. I'll add Photos, Play Music, and Docs. To remove services from the pop-up, just drag services from the right pane to the left. I'll remove Wallet and Shopping. Now I'll just close this tab and reopen the extension. And you'll see it's been updated with those are removed and added. Shortcuts for Google is a great extension to quickly access services by Google. This one is for advanced users. Tamper Monkey with more than 10 million users is a popular user script manager that can add features to your favorite websites to make them better. To use Tamper Monkey, select the icon. If you're new to Tamper Monkey, select Find New Scripts. This will open up a new web page. Of all the sites listed here, I recommend Greasy Fork. On their homepage, it'll show you how to use and install user scripts from this site. Just follow the directions. A popular use of scripts is being able to add a download button for your favorite sites. Just be careful when installing scripts and only install from trusted sources. In other words, use at your own risk. Thanks for watching. All links are in the description. Give this video a thumbs up if it was useful for you. Let me know in the comments if you know of an amazing Chrome extension that you think would be useful for others. And if you haven't done so already, click the subscribe button and bell notification icon for more Chrome extension videos and other tech-related stuff from Tech Gumbo.